latest on Typhoon Mancut, which remains a powerful Category 5 storm. Although it's been looking slightly flaky in those last few frames, that's why we've put it down on our estimates to 160 miles per hour with a pressure of 912 millibars. At 10 a.m. Philippine time on September 14th, it was located here at 16.1 north, 126.6 east. A stage 9 on the CDPS scale, near total devastation could occur if the storm made landfall at this intensity. It's 235 miles from Virac, 279 from Diet, 336 from Santa Ana, 425 from Vasco, and 389 miles from Manila to give you an idea of where the storm is, out to the east of Luzon. Signal 3 warnings now in effect for Northern Aurora, Isabella and Cagayan with Signal 2 warnings for the rest of Northern and Central Luzon and Signal 1 warnings for the rest of Luzon. Further south, we can't list all of them on that same page but you all know where to go, Pegasa has the latest advisories. The storm's likely to make landfall on Friday night or early Saturday morning, possibly as a Category 5 or at least a high-end Category 4 Super Typhoon before moving into the South China Sea and then likely to go south of Hong Kong and make landfall further west on the Chinese coastline somewhere. We're not sure exactly where just yet because the storm could still deviate to the north or indeed to the south of the forecast track. Now nothing behind it by the looks of things there. Let's take a look at the sea surface temperatures around 29 degrees Celsius uh, pretty much all the way up until landfall and that is certainly going to be in the storm's favor for potential reintensification before landfall that could also happen the storm has still got a huge wind field and could expand even more before landfall and then uh, what's left of the storm probably going to force an eye replacement cycle out of it and it will uh, look probably not too great as it goes into the South China Sea because of all of that land interaction but it will still be a significant typhoon with a large wind field by the time it reaches China and then possibly into Vietnam later on in the week. Um, but we can't show that part of the graphic because we've not yet altered it, we've not had enough time to work with because of all of the storm situations going on. Uh, these are the chance of tropical storm force winds though. 33% of Basco now, 93% on Santa Ana, 98% at Tugui Garo, 20% in Manila and 59% now in Hong Kong. Those chances have risen significantly since the last update. Here's the latest model run. Now don't listen to the HWRF. That model has had a terrible malfunction recently but the CTCX is calling for a potential intensification phase before landfall and that would be catastrophic. Already is catastrophic as it is right now. Wind shear staying low to moderate and you can see there the tracks on the bottom left hand side uh, showing decent agreement for a landfall in northern Luzon either in Isabella or in Cagayan. This is how the storm has been looking in recent frames and you can see how it's been progressing. Um, you can see actually a more pronounced northwestward turn occurring in those latest frames and look how the eye is clearing out in those last frames but the northwestern eye wall is looking a bit flaky and that's why we've dropped the intensity a little bit. Uh, you can especially see on the infrared there how the eye has had a little bit of trouble and it has become a little bit shallower as well down to around 14 or 15 degrees Celsius from its high two days ago of 23. Uh, a warmer eye means a stronger storm and this one's going to be packing a significant punch. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com with the latest. You can also find our YouTube page, you're probably there already, but if not, subscribe if you haven't so far. You can also find our Facebook page, Force 13 All in Text, and it's at Force 13 on Twitter if you'd like to get in touch with us on there. You can also help the project become even better by enjoying the benefits of patronage. You can find out more information about how to become a patron and what those benefits are at patreon.com forward slash force13. And Force13's live coverage continues on its live feed. You can check that out with the latest information at youtube.com forward slash force13 forward slash live.